another episode, folks. And this day, it's day 20, 24. 24 days of running every day. Again, who, who would have known? So there's a lot of things happening today and I don't have a lot of time to go for a run. I actually woke up later than I would have liked. Step through my alarm, which I think it's normal for people to do from time to time, especially when you don't you don't set it correctly. So, anyways, um, yesterday 30k, it was awesome. Really enjoyed it. Uh, it. Really didn't feel like getting up and running this morning. That's just didn't want to do it. But again, like I said yesterday, if you've got a goal. You're gonna do everything you can to achieve it. And it starts with you taking that action. So, this morning, I wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about that, you know? And one of the things, you know, people say, you know, if you're gonna achieve a goal, you have to sacrifice something. Like you can't have it all. Well, I'm going to say that's partially true. I'm going to say it's partially true. You can have it all. Just you got to work damn hard for it. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of training that goes into trying to, you know, accomplish a big goal, right? Whether it's a half marathon or a marathon or whether you're doing an ultra. So there's time involved. So you just have to adjust how you spend your time. Like I'm normally a late owl. I will, I'm awake late, um, you know, just getting stuff done. You know, and I always like to end the, end the night off by, you know, either reading or, or, you know, watching a little bit of Netflix or whatever. I mean, I don't have TV, so I, I you know, I cut that out. So, sacrifice. What am I sacrificing? not really much right like I get to go out and run in the morning and then I've got you know work that comes after that I've got family time in the evening right dinner with the family um, and then I guess if you're gonna say sacrifice it's gonna be I'm gonna sacrifice some of my own downtime with regards to like reading or watching videos or something in the evening so that way I can wake up earlier to get my run in. So I guess if I'm gonna sacrifice something, it's gonna be I'm gonna sacrifice time in the evening for sleep. <laughs> because I need sleep if I'm going to achieve this audacious goal. Like really, I mean it's flipping monumental trying to do 100 kilometers. I was just thinking how hard or, or how my legs felt after 30 yesterday, 20 of the day before, uh, you know, like that's a lot in a very short period of time. So I'm just trying to beat up the legs so that way I can get out and do what it is I want to do, right? So yeah, so sacrifice. That's, that's really the only sacrifice I'm making as a runner, as a father, as a realtor, as a friend. You know, that's really it. So look at your own life. See where you can carve out a little bit of time. Uh, like I said before, you know, yesterday. Set yourself for success, not failure. And too many times, that's what we end up doing, is setting ourselves up for failure, right? That's typically what I see, right? People join a gym, they spend $50, $60 a month on this gym membership, they may go for the first two weeks, and then it starts dwindling down to like maybe once every couple of weeks, and before you know it, they're not going at all, and then they're like, why did I buy this gym membership? You wanna know where my gym membership is? out here that's my gym membership and guess what it's free I mean I go home and all my strength exercises that I do are all based on 
um, just my own weight, right? Push-ups, crunches, planks, leg raises, like all these things, doesn't cost any money, just lift your body. <laughs> like, it's so crazy. So, yeah, so set yourself for success, carve out that time that it's gonna take, and then just go ahead and do it. Anyways, speaking of that, I'm going out to do it, and for all my friends who are running stride inside, go, go, go. I wanted to, uh, to go into that race, uh, see what I could do. However, it was sold out before I could even think about it, to be quite honest. And I know Jeff and Heather, they put on a great race. And uh, for all my friends that are running it, I wish you all the best. I have to carve out my time, get my run in, and then I'm off to Collingwood. So um, yeah, busy day today. So love you all and until tomorrow, run wild everybody. Well, this has turned out to be a, an amazing, amazing run. It's one thing about running slower. You actually get faster. <laughs> I want to talk about this tomorrow in my episode because I think everybody needs to understand, you know, the training benefits of your aerobic base. I think it's super important and I wish I had known about this before I started running. Anyways, <laughs> I will talk about that tomorrow. So let's get the, let's get this run finished. Yeah, baby. And we're back. Wow, that was flipping awesome. Okay, so I don't know what you guys did this morning. I know that I just knocked off a run that I am super proud of. I'm actually going to talk about it tomorrow. So all I got to say for today is make the sacrifices, do the work, you'll get results. And until tomorrow, run wild everybody.